and this is our barn building that will eventually become a home <laughs> but it's a bit basic at the moment um, and so the neighbour has a lean-to that leans onto the building I mean the big dream would be to actually acquire his olive grove and land too um, but you know maybe in a couple of years we might be able to agree something with him uh, this is an absolute mess it's full of hay and tools I don't even know if you're going to be able to see but you know eventually could be a beautiful bedroom <laughs> and we're using this other building there again um, as our sort of shelter slash kitchen um, storage space um, finally got a heater and we um, shored up the roof with some expandable foam because it was very breezy yeah it's um it's basic but it's cozy and it functions and we like it um yeah that's the land and um i'm really excited to start pulling all our plans together with it so i thought i would show you all what we've been up to we've been pretty busy and we're in the midst of a big project so it's a bit uh, a bit chaotic here i've been working on my vegetable pot which is going to be on this uh, empty plateau this is the current chaos up here <laughs> we are uh, building a little cabin uh, to sleep in so we can get out of the van We've got pallets and breeze blocks and then we're building the a wooden frame. So the other big project we have been doing is sorting out this, well, the front of here. Um, previously, so it was just like grassy here like it is. Um, and there was just some old barn doors that were rotting. And we built these doors and wall. Um, and then it's just a perspex window but we just went for as big as we could find and oh it's so different in here now because I can just close the door and there is so much light coming in and then we built it's an absolute mess so ignore that but um, yeah we built these and a sink um, just to help make life easier, having a sink is <laughs> a, a luxury I didn't know was a luxury until you don't have one. That is the land uh, in February and what we've been up to and hopefully next time there'll be a, a lovely wooden cabin here. And here's my vegetable patch that I've been working on a lot. We've got some salad and onions and potatoes and then my peas, my pride and joy. I just love peas. They're just, just as a plant, I think they're just so lovely and they grow so beautifully. So I'm excited uh, to eventually eat these. Oh, and one thing that happened this month is we got a new member of the family. <laughs> this is Albie. We rescued her from the rescue centre in Castello Branco. I think all I've done is put up some curtains in here. And it's a bit of a mess because we're mid doing the cabin, so everything's in here. Um, and we had a little move around. But yeah, still quite a chaotic space but but this has been the main project but we've been doing the roof in here today oh and we've just we went to buy more foam and came back with the floor um, but yeah it's looking quite lovely for our botched jobs <laughs> non-joiner skills um, quite proud and then this is our outdoor bathroom 
Um, going for, you know, very spa-like vibes here. There's a drain pipe in here. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, we've just got our dry toilet and our shower. Which has been lovely to not be washing in a bucket anymore. This is the other part of the garden we've been working on, is the big tomato patch. So we have lots of different types of tomatoes growing in here. My veg patch is flourishing away. Um, the potatoes are starting to get flowers on them. The peas are full of flowers. We've, we've been able to eat a few already as well. The onions are looking good. We've had a few spring onions and this is a crazy mizuna little row of leeks some beans my carrots that are planted in a spiral just for fun <laughs> um, some blueberry bushes and more potatoes I'm gonna have to work out how to uh, store them all my courgette plants are looking well other thing that we've done this month is Yuan's built his climbing wall. It's covered in tarp because we've had a lot of rain. The tomato bed is flourishing. Well, I don't know if they were here last time I did a video, but our neighbour's got a couple of goats here to help him cut the grass. They're very cute. One thing that has changed is we finally bought some chairs. So we're not sitting on camping chairs because that was definitely not good for our backs. I did build this other little section of here to give us a bit more workspace. Um, and then I think last video, uh, we were just putting the floor in, in here, which is now done. Um, and next week we're hopefully going to buy a bed but we are sleeping in here which is so nice to not be sleeping in the van anymore uh, it's a really lovely space to to sleep um, and you wake up and you can see the sky mm -hmm. we cleared this area so it used to have an old fridge here we often sit up here for our, our morning coffee so it was really nice to get that cleared and sit by this beautiful rose bush. It's um, been a strange month. I think because of the heat we've kind of started a few projects and they're just taking a, a long time or being half abandoned at the moment um, because we're only having uh, a few hours that are really comfortable to work in. I'm also doing my garden sort of like the hour before I go to bed. So here's the house from here. Yuan's there busy working. We're building um, shading on the cabin because, have I mentioned, it's been very hot. <laughs> uh, I don't think I showed you this last time. Um, this is Yuan's climbing wall, uh, which is also creating lots of lovely shade. We've got an ICB, I think I'm saying right, ICB tank. I called it a USB for ages. Um, but yeah, we've got a water tank now which collects um, rainwater from the cabin, but we have also just filled it from the well because there's been no rain. <laughs> uh, so this is what Yuan's currently working on. If you can see in the light, uh, we're just putting up some poles and then we're going to pop a shade cloth over it. Um, as a place to sit but also to try and shade the cabin a bit more because in the afternoon it's boiling in there um right i'll go show you the cabin because even though we haven't done anything new we did go to ikea so we now have a bed and it's really starting to feel like a proper room and we've got a wardrobe Tomato jungle is looking very happy. So it is very messy in here. But another IKEA purchase. We got a sofa. Oh, and we've got a gas fridge cool box. It's it's not super cold, but it, it definitely keeps things sort of more on 10 degrees. Um 
so really chuffed with that we found that one on facebook so well, another thing we found on facebook was um this little so i've got really muddy fingers from reading um this little solar panel which um has a little inverter to a usb so we can charge our phones uh, we've started trying to fix the reservoir um, with this i don't know what it's called but it's like a black putty yuan's been doing it and it definitely is now holding water better but it's still leaking i think there's another crack just here we need to do um and we'll see because yeah having having some water to sit in is going to be a saviour in the summer and then this little dream is a gift from Shan Yuan's men sent us in the post um, it's a little pizza oven and it's just incredible that's the end of what month is it? May <laughs> um, feels like we've not done lots but I think we have been working quite hard the Ikea trip was probably the hardest thing. So, one of the exciting things that has happened this month is um, our lovely, lovely friend Nick came and rendered the reservoir for us which is just going to be absolute heaven on these ridiculously hot days that we've got coming up. I got all these potatoes from one row and I still have I think seven more rows to do we've already had one load of this that lasted us a couple of weeks um, so yeah really chuffed with that uh, I've pulled up most of the onions now just met Yuan on the path back to the house our first proper tomato harvest and the fresh oregano and fresh oregano amazing going straight into dinner making pasta Mm. So yesterday we were walking past our neighbour at the top of the road and he gave us the biggest bucket of plums from his tree. He says he's taken so many buckets this size from it already and doesn't know what to do with them all. And he gave us so many I had to put the rest in my hat. I'm not really too sure what to do with them all. Um, our other friend Janine also gave us a big bag of plums and she's making plum wine with her so maybe we'll have to experiment with that. In the background of all the sort of highlights of June, um, yeah we've had some stressful stuff going on um, that I will not talk about yet because I don't think it's good to talk about stuff until you're on the other side of it. We have just survived a very hot weekend. I think it's been the hottest weekend, hottest days um, since we've been here. It reached like 43 degrees on the thermometer, um, which has been challenging, <laughs> but we made it. 
we do have some exciting uh, exclusive news that we've not shared anywhere else yet. I'm actually going to go and find Yuan so we can tell you together. <laughs> so I thought I would uh, rope you in yeah. so that we can tell our exciting news. Our exciting news. Which exciting news? <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> we have lots of exciting news. <laughs> um, about next door. You mean about next door? Yes, we are currently in the process of buying next door. <laughs> Do you want to tell a bit of the story of why? The long story or the short well, story? Well, we'll do a proper video about it all um, and go into more detail. But so the basic reason. No basic reason. So the basic reason is that our neighbour actually on the deeds owns a third of our house <laughs> as you do yeah this is so it turns out that it's not possible to split the land blah 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 again we'll go into this in the future so it turns out that the easiest way around it is for us to buy his whole property which was in the long-term plan it was it wasn't in the 12 month plan <laughs> it wasn't in the sure. six month plan or the six month plan <laughs> um but yeah that's currently what we're in the process of which is exciting because it's we're also getting the, the adjacent plot of land which is about how big? I think it's just a bit bigger than we've got already. So another just over 2,000 so we'll have an acre then. Half a hectare. Um, just over half a hectare. Which is exciting because one of our well more your big plan for the land is the um, load more vines. Making I mean, lots of wine. Yeah so we'll acquire another 40 or 50 vines I think and another 50 or 60 olive trees. So yeah that's we're, good news we're pretty happy about that so and another massive cork oak yeah it's, it's cool. beautiful we'll give you a proper tour yeah when it's all yeah. completed then making a table out of some uh, tongue and groove that we had left over from doing the cabin floor so we'll have a new table and some new chairs mostly for free It's really starting to feel like the end of summer <laughs> which sounds like a strange thing to say um, but we're really excited to start cracking on with some projects and the heat has just made that virtually impossible. Um, got another hot weekend, um, I think we've got 40 degrees ish tomorrow, 39 the day after and then according to the weather forecaster that's it for the year so fingers crossed that's summer over can't believe I'm saying fingers crossed summer's over. It's the Welshy in me. But yeah, I can't wait for some rain. Come on. Come here. We do sausage race. Come on. Yuan has come and brought me some of our first, well our very first, fresh figs. I've been waiting to pick this bunch for ages and ages and ages. It's probably going to be the biggest one, if we can get it out. That's a bit as well, isn't it? Oh. 
monster. So we picked Mother up from the train station, got her back to ours and got her straight in the garden doing work on the tomato plant as well. So we now have solar power and these are our little fold out solar panels. Thanks for your help, Nick. <laughs> no problem, thank you for your help. But it's now autumn. <laughs>
did not have 500 kilograms but we were able to still get our very own olive oil uh, something we've been waiting quite a while for finally happened this week we are extra landowners <laughs> Bigger landowners. Bigger landowners. <laughs> Yuan's to-do list has doubled. Ugh. Yeah, we finally signed the deeds for next door on <laughs> Monday. Um, and if you've been following our journey for the last few months, you'll have known about this, but we'll start from the beginning. And originally, this was the border. Thank you. 